God needs you to pay attention. And what he needs you to pay attention to is not things in this world, all the crazy things that's happening, things around this world. What he needs you to pay attention to is his word. Because if you pay attention to his word, as opposed to the things of this world and all the crazy things that's happened to, in this world, or even the crazy things that is happening in your life, then you're going to be more strength, stressed and anxious and not know what to do. But if you focus on his word, then you will actually know what to do in certain situations. You will know how to overcome temptation. And that's when you'll have more peace because you will know what's to come. You see, the reason why the Pharisees and um, people who didn't know that Jesus was God or didn't know that the Messiah has came, the reason why they didn't know is because they weren't reading the Torah. They didn't know the prophecies that were getting fulfilled in front of their faces. And so we are kind of in the same age. We, if you don't read Revelation, if you don't read Isaiah, if you don't read the things that are going to come, you're not going to know they're coming. And so if you read them and you know them, if you are taking heed to the word, then you will know what's to come. and You will have peace in the situations. You will know that God already said those things were gonna come. But what the devil does, he kinda tries to get us distracted. The distractions of, you know, the clubs, you know, he tries to get you distracted with, you know, the girls, the social media, all types of different stuff. And yes, he'll show you glimpses here and there on social media, different stuff just to get you scared. But if you don't read Revela if you don't read your word, if you are not focused on your word and focused on God and just focused on your life in general, then you will never know what's to come. And you will not know when God is warning you about something. You will not know even how to reach your breakthrough or do what God is calling you to do in a specific time. So that's why it's important that you live a more focused life more focused life in your word, more focused life in school, more focused life wherever you're doing, whatever you're pursuing, make sure you're more focused because God will start to tell you to God, he will start to guide your steps as you live more a more focused life. So that's why in this video, I'll be talking about the five ways that you can actually focus more in this life so that you can not only overcome temptation, so not only you can know what God's purpose is, but also so you can know what's to come. And the first way to live a more focused life is actually to go to a quiet place you see people like jesus went to quiet places to go and spend time with god they, he went to the desert you know he went away from his disciples for a little while because he need to needed to focus and he even woke up early earlier than the disciples so that he can pray and spend time with god and that's what we must be willing to do. We must be willing to wake up earlier than most people so that we can spend time with God and read the word so we can first thing in the morning, spend time with God. First thing th that's even on our mind is God. And we need to be able to do that to, uh, you know, overcome these temptations or overcome these spiritual battles that we are going through. But many of us, we don't want to get up early. And that's sometimes something you have to sacrifice. Now, not everybody has to sacrifice, you know, time going to sleep or waking up early to spend time with God. Some people actually have time in the, during the day to go and spend their lunch break with God or just sometime in the middle of the day just to go in a alone time, a quiet spot to go spend time with God. But you just have to make time for God so that you can be in a quiet space. In a quiet space, what it allows you to do is get your mind off of everything in this world and just focus on one thing and focus on God. And so you have to be willing to do that and find that time for God so that God can actually start to reveal things to you and you can start to focus more while you're reading the word. And the second way to have a more focused life is actually eliminating multitasking. Because we have so many things in on, on this earth that we need to do, so many worries, we try to multitask and we try to do more than one thing at once. And when you do that, it actually just causes you to be more stressed. It causes you to have more anxiety and it actually, it's actually, less effective than you actually think because if you just focused on one task whether that be reading the word whether that be getting your work done if you just focused on that one task you can get it done faster than if you try to do it with more than one thing say if you tried working while also you know cleaning at the same time if you just focused on that work and then you started to clean then then you would actually get that done more faster than if you tried doing it at the same time and so not only will that help you finish things with more efficiency, but it will also help you focus more and get get things done faster. So that's why it's important that you stop multitasking because that actually causes you to get distracted. It causes you to not finish things at all because many times we try to multitask and then end up, you know, 
not finishing any of those tasks at all. And so that's why it's important that you focus on more than one, that you focus on one thing at a time. And you just finish whatever task is at hand, whether that be reading the word, whether that be print, whether that be getting your work done, whatever it is, make sure that you aren't multitasking. And the third way to actually start to focus more is actually becoming more organized, meaning that whatever task you're doing, you should probably have a time to do it, meaning scheduling your time. Paul even says this to the uh, Corinthian church. He says it in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. He says, everything should be done in decency and order. So everything should have an order to it. You should have structure in your life. And if you don't have structure in your life, then you're gonna get distracted, distracted so easily. Meaning that when you go and spend time with the Lord, when you go and uh, spend time uh, in the Bible, you're gonna, end up scrolling on social media, you're gonna end up seeing a notification pop up and then start scrolling on social media because you didn't have a structure. You don't have a time to go and spend time with God and then spend time on social media. And so if you're just unstructured and you just have all types of things going on, then first off, you're gonna have more anxiety, you're gonna have more stress, and then you're not gonna get things done. When you do things, when you do a task, you're gonna try to do another task and that's how multitasking actually happens It's because you're not structured. And so you have to have your life structured. You have to schedule your things, even if you have to use Google Calendar to, to remind you to do certain things at a specific time, you have to be willing to structure your life because the word tells us that we need to be structured and that may be the reason why you can't focus in the word. So make sure that you are structuring your time, whatever it is, make sure you, your room is structured, make sure you have a time to clean your room, you know, just do whatever you need to do to have a more structured life, whatever works for you, whether you gotta write it down, whether you gotta set an alarm, whether you gotta put it in Google Calendar, whatever you need to do, have a more structured life and whatever you do, do it in decency and order and have it structured. And once you do that, that's when you'll start to have a more focused life and you'll be able to focus in any task that you put your mind to. And number four, number four, the fourth way to get more focus is actually eliminating distractions. That one's pretty obvious, but a lot of people don't actually do it. They would rather wake up and scroll on social media rather than waking up and praying to God and spending time in the word. And the worst thing that you can actually do is wake up and then scroll for hours and hours and hours because that actually reduces your attention span, that decreases your attention span. So you have to be willing to put down aside your phone and just be willing to spend an hour and wake up meditating on the word instead of scrolling on social media. And a distraction may not just be social media, maybe, you know, TV shows and maybe even friends and maybe anything that will keep you away from God's purpose, really. And if you have all of these things that will try to keep you away from God's purpose, if you have so many distractions, then you're never going to be able to focus. And, and that may be the reason why you're not receiving breakthrough. That may be the reason why you can't focus in the word. That may be the reason why you don't feel as close to God is because you're not focused. So remove any distraction, remove anything that is keeping you away from God so that God can really start to speak to you. And the fifth and last way, which every single time I put this tip in anything I do, I put it last. The fifth way is praying. And if you pray for something yet you're not willing to take the actions to actually try to, you know, overcome it or do the things that will help you in that certain area. If you pray for something and yet you're not willing to work for it, then that prayer is dead. It will not answer because faith without works is dead. And you cannot pray to God if you do not have faith because you cannot please God without faith. So you ha must have faith in your prayer. You must actually start working towards it. And you must pray and ask God to help you. And when you start working towards it, you must pray and ask God, Lord, help me focus, help me focus, help me have a more focused life because I've been feeling anxious. I've been feeling distracted. And so I need your help. And once you come to him with that humility and just ask God for help, that's when it'll help you focus not only in school, not only in his word, but it will also help you just have a more focused life. And us being distracted, us not being able to focus is actually may be the reason why many people, especially young people, are actually struggling with temptation. They're struggling to figure out their purpose because they cannot focus on one task at a time. And the word even says this. It says this in Psalms chapter 119. It says, how can a young man cleanse his way? How can a young man stay pure? It says by taking heed to the word. And a lot of us can't focus in the word. We can't focus while reading God's word. And it's because we are distracted and we don't have a focused life. And taking heed means to pay close attention. And so 
we don't pay close attention to the word. We miss out on a lot of things. We probably read and then forget what we read the day before. And that's because we are not focused. And so if you want to stay pure, if you want to live a pure life, if you want to live close to God, then you have to be able to take heed to the word. You must be able to have a focused life. So that's why I hope that you apply all five of these steps to your life so that you can have a more focused life. I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope that these tips actually edified you. And I know that if you take these steps, if you take these five steps, that you, then you will have a way more focused life than you already do. So I appreciate you for watching. I, pre I hope this helps y'all and I appreciate all the support. But until next time, as usual, y'all stay blessed.